Um, we are in the midst of a global battery arms race, which so far the US is a bystander. The advent of electric vehicles and energy storage has sparked a wave of battery mega factories that are being built around the world. Since my last testimony only 14 months ago, we have gone from 17 lithium ion battery mega factories to 70, so 17 to 70. In gigawatt hour terms, we have gone from 289 gigawatt hours to 1,549 gigawatt hours as the equivalent of 22 million pure electric vehicles worth of battery capacity in the pipeline. The scale and speed of this growth is unprecedented, we, and it will have a profound impact on the raw materials that fuel these battery plants. The scale and investment will also drive the cost of lithium ion battery production down below $100 per kilowatt hour today in, uh, in this year. This adds extra impetus to this mega trend of battery mega factories and the impact on the demand for critical battery raw materials of lithium, cobalt, nickel and graphite uh, have been unprecedented. For example, in the next decade, the demand for lithium is set to go up nine times. This is lithium used in, lithium, in the battery industry. Cobalt set to go up six times. Nickel set to go up five times and graphite anode set to go up nine times. The question is how much of this mineral to EV battery supply chain does the US control. So the way I view the battery supply chain is in three main elements. You've got the mine where the minerals come from, you've got the chemical and refining aspect which is absolutely key to um, using those minerals or chemicals in the batteries and then you've got the battery plants. So for stage one, um, how much of that mine supply does the US control? For nickel it's zero, for cobalt it's zero, for graphite it's zero, and for lithium it's 1% or something. For the chemical stage, the, the, where the know-how comes in for using these minerals in batteries, the chemical stage, um, how much of the, the US, how much capacity does the US control? Nickel, it's 0%, cobalt, it's 0%, graphite, it's 0%, and lithium, it's 7%. Battery capacity stage, where they make the actual batteries, the consuming plants. Uh, in 2018, the US had 9%. That was mainly from the Tesla Gigafactory in Nevada. And by 2028, we're only forecasting 10%. So we're forecasting a, a relative flatline as this industry grows. Incidentally, China is on track to have 65% of battery capacity by 2028. It already has 51% of lithium chemical capacity, 80% of cobalt chemical capacity, 100% of graphite anode capacity, and a third of nickel chemical capacity. Those that control these supply chains will hold the balance of industrial power for the 21st century auto and energy industries. And the question I have for this committee is, does the US or what role does the US want to have in this global energy storage revolution? Because it starts with these supply chains. I would like to extend my appreciation to Senator Mikowski and the committee for holding hearings like this, uh, because they are vitally important to the industry and the supply chains. Thank you, Mr. Morris, for, for reminding us so clearly and directly.